What is up everyone, my name is Matt and welcome to a new video on my channel. Now in today's video, me and Sabuna are going to be showing you guys some secret or not well known things about your Steam profile and hopefully you guys think it's cool, funny or useful. But before I'm going to be doing that, I want to introduce you to a site called Earn.gg. They reached out to me and they wanted me to show you their site. So on Earn.gg, you can complete simple and easy tasks to get credits on the website. You can also watch advertisements all day long. You don't even have to look at them. So you can just play CSGO and leave the site open with the advertisements rolling and in return, you'll get credits on the website. Once you have those credits, you can either cash them out for Bitcoin or PayPal, but you can also cash them out for credits on various gambling websites. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. So for the first trick that I'm going to be showing you guys is how you can create a favorite game glitch showcase. So what you want to do is you want to go over to edit profile and you want to press Ctrl Shift J. Now a console will come up in Google Chrome. This is only, uh, you can only do this in Google Chrome. You want to press Ctrl V with the code that is in the description. So you get it pasted in here. And this says app ID over here. And you want to change that to 65120. Now what this does is uh, it will show like some error code or whatever. But it doesn't matter. If you scroll down, you can see that the favorite game has changed to something glitched. I think it's personally very cool. Uh, you can do this with something else as well. You can change the app ID to, uh, for example, 413856. And I press enter and you will see it's updated to CSGO Navi profile. I don't know how this is possible, but it, it looks pretty cool in your profile. And I think uh, it would be a nice addition to your profile, of course. Let's have a look at what it looks like. There you go. I don't know. I think it's a cool feature. So this next trick that I'm going to show you is something that I can't really explain. So I'll have to show it you. So as you can see on my profile, there's a little bit of text over here with some links. And if I click on this one, try this. If I click on it, I'll be redirected to this link. And as you can see, my whole profile is in Japanese now. All the info text and stuff is in Japanese. So over here on my profile, there's a uh, text box over here. URL equals Steam Community slash my slash question mark L equals Japanese. So this makes it so the language is Japanese whenever you click on it. So it's just a redirection link. And whenever you have this slash my thing in here, you'll be redirected to your own profile. So for example, if I go over to someone else's profile and he has that link on his profile and I click on it, I'll be redirected to my own profile, but in Japanese. So I changed it to Edgar the dog. And if I click on Edgar, I'll be redirected to my own profile in Japanese. I think it's actually something very cool and not many people know about it. And it's definitely something that you should have a profile because it's super easy to do and people will be like whoa that's actually pretty cool so let's get on to the next one hey i'm sabrina and i'm going to be showing you how to get this 404 symbol all over your profile so what we're going to do to get this is go to the steam market link in the description below once we are there we are going to click the buy button then we are going to go to our summary or info box and type in colon ranger colon and then apply the changes to your profile and once you go back to your profile you'll be able to see the 404 image not found symbol where you've written that text you can use this to make your profile look like it's not loading properly to mess with people or just to get that sort of aesthetic glitchy look so for the next thing on your steam profile it's not really something that you can change your profile but it's something that's more like interesting so whenever you go to your um steam name you can always check your recent names and you know that's that's kind of cool but if you go ahead and look at your steam name and uh your link in the bar here and you type slash name history after it so you already got it there now you can actually see when you change your name to something i don't know it's not really useful but it's more like funny to look at you can check it for other people as well maybe make fun of their names or something i don't know but that was it for this part so now we're moving on to getting a glitched out 404 steam avatar so to do this we're going to have to head down to the link in the description below and then we'll be redirected to this web page once on this web page we will see three blank boxes and we want to click the largest one then once we've done that we want to click on the save button and then it will be applied to your profile you can even see the blue and green online status that usually surrounds your profile picture through this avatar now for the next thing if you go over to my item showcase you can see that my medusa and my dragon lore are spaced out and that is because there is a digimon background which is basically glitched and blank and because of that glitch background you can make it appear as if there is nothing in your showcase while in reality the background just doesn't show on your profile you can also just have the background fill up all the spots so it appears to be blank on your profile 
it's up to you whatever you do i just like to have some items in there and then just space out the items that are in my showcase i just personally think that looks very clean the link to the background will be in the description of course as well as all the other stuff that was mentioned in this video now guys that was it for today's video and if you did enjoy please leave a like on the video subscribe to my channel if you're new and maybe turn on my notifications so you're always there when i upload because if you have turned on my notifications i see you i always see you guys commenting on my video the first and it's really nice to see that some people have done that obviously if you're into this kind of steam stuff check out sabuna's channel because that's basically what his whole channel is about so if you're specifically interested in the steam kind of stuff then go over to his channel he has a lot of videos and that kind of crazy stuff and maybe drop him a little uh sub or something i don't know guys that was all that i had to say and i'm out Squad in the drop time, many fans probably like these. Send a picture, fan. Mm. I know what a squad in the drop time, many fans probably like these. Send a picture.